reflection over the line y equals negative x. Now, in a previous video, we saw, we looked at reflection over the line y equals x, right? And we saw that what it did was interchange the coordinates where a, b became b, a. All right? That's what happened. Now, let's look at reflection over the line y equals negative x. So, let's plot our line y equals negative x. So, there's our line. Let me make the line a bit thicker than it is now. All right. Now, if we have, for example, this point, let's call this point negative A, B. This point is at negative AB. For negative A, we go to the left, and B, we go up. Right? If we draw a line from this point, call it P, to the line Y equals negative X at right angles, to reflect it, we draw a line in the same direction on the other side, same length. And what we would get is up here. Now, it seems from what we have here that this height is the same height as negative A. So it would be A and then this distance here for B is this. So what we would really have is that A goes up and B goes across. We had negative A goes to the left and B up. Now the distance A is going up and B is across. So the coordinates here would be X represent B and Y would represent A. Now let's use some numbers. P and P prime. P is at negative 4, 1. Right? So P is at negative 4, 1. P prime would be at negative 1, 4. Right here. Negative 1, 4. So let's erase some of what we have. The B and negative A. And the B and the A. Let's erase these markings here. Right? Here now. Negative 4, 1 became negative 1, 4. Right? You can see that. Another set of points that we could use for that reflection is for example suppose p was at negative 5 p is at negative 5 2 negative 5 2 say so this is p and the point p is at negative 5 2 all right then to reflect it we draw line towards x equal negative 1 and um, y equal negative x I mean and then reflect that line over here so p prime seems to come here p prime would be located at negative 2 5 now if we have negative 5 2 becomes 2 become negative 2 5 after multiplying by a matrix a 
B, C, D. The question is, what could that matrix be? Right? We see here how we could do the reflection by drawing on a graph paper. Right? But the thing is, what would happen if we were to do it using a matrix, 2 by 2 matrix? We have our 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by the original point to reflect it over the line y equals negative x. So negative 5, 2 is reflected to become negative 2, 5. What I want you to do is pause the video and figure out what that matrix is. So go ahead and do it. Alright, you've paused the video and you've figured out what that matrix is. Let's take a look at it. Now, if you have A, B, C, D multiply negative 5, 2 to give negative 2, 5, the steps would be A times negative 5. So you have negative 5A plus B times 2. This is 2B is equal to negative 2. Well, negative 2. And remember, you need to rem rem review, if you, if you don't remember about it, you need to review your multiplication of matrices for this part, alright? Now, negative 5a plus 2b become negative 2. There is no trace of the 5, so that suggests that a is 0. Because the 5 disappeared. Negative 5 disappeared. 2b. And you end up with negative 2. If 2 multiplies b. And you end up with negative 2. It's suggesting that b is negative 1. So b is negative 1. Let's see this part. You're going to multiply row 2. By the column. To get row 2 here. Negative 5 by C. C by negative 5 gives you negative 5C plus D by 2 gives you 2D equals and you end up with the answer 5. Alright, the 2 seem to have disappeared. Uh, it, it didn't remain. It didn't become negative. It disappeared. So this suggests that D is 0. You have negative 5 by C and you end up with 5. It's suggesting that C is negative 1. So, let's look at that. A is 0. B. Alright, let's write the reflection matrix up here. It's saying that A is 0, so it's 0. B is negative 1. C is negative 1. D is 0. Alright. So, that's what you have there. Alright. Alright. That's the reflection matrix. That's the suggestion we have for the reflection matrix. And the thing to you know is that it's hard to try and accurately remember all of these matrices for reflection over a line. But you can figure it out very quickly, right? What the matrix is for reflection over the x-axis, reflection over the y-axis, reflection over y equals x reflection over y equals negative x but anyway let's see how well this will work let's reflect a triangle the points of this triangle let's say the triangle points of the triangle are one point is here let's make another point here and another point here right we're going to reflect this triangle. No. Let's make one point here. Yeah. One point here. One here and one here. Let's make that triangle and reflect it using this matrix and see if it will really and truly be a reflection over the line y equals negative x. So Let's say we have triangle A at 
negative 2 1 this is negative 2 1 B at 2 3 C at 4 negative 2 right so that's our triangle original triangle now the reflected triangle will be at a prime B prime C prime now what we need to do is multiply each column matrix for the vert each vertex of the original triangle by this matrix and see what's going to happen All right so let's see 0 negative 1 negative 1 0 is multiplied by negative 2 1 what do we get 0 by negative 2 that's 0 plus negative 1 by 1 is negative 1 and negative 1 by negative 2 is 2 plus 0 by 1 is 0 so a prime is negative 1 2 then we have b prime let's see what's going to happen in that case b is 2 3 2 3 let's multiply 0 by 2 is 0 negative 1 by 3 is negative 3 negative 1 by 2 is negative 2 0 by 3 is 0 so we have negative 3 negative 2 here and then C prime what we have here is 4 negative 2 0 by 4 give a 0 negative 1 by negative 2 give a positive 2 negative 1 by 4 is negative 4 0 by 2 0 so we have 2 negative 4 all right those are the two triangles we have let's erase what we did here and then we're going to draw those two triangles in our graph paper here no negative a is negative 2 1 that's here b is 2 3 2 3 here c is 4 negative 2 4 negative 2 right here and we close the triangle let's make some adjustments to the size of this triangle we want the color to be blue and make the triangle tick size of the triangle tick right same thing here and we do it to the third side as well so the blue triangle is our original triangle now the other triangle which is the image after reflection over y equals negative x negative 1 2 so we have negative 1 2 here negative 3 negative 2 so we have negative 3 negative 2 which is here 2 negative 4 we have 2 negative 4 and we close that triangle let's make our image in the color green and make the sides tick thicker than they were All right and then we have the same thing done to the third side 
All right. So there we have our two triangles. And you can see it is really and truly a reflection over the line y equal negative x. <coughs> you can see that this point, the blue is reflected. It goes up here. This point went from the blue to the green this way on the other side. And this point here went down here. So it's a reflection. One triangle is reflected over the line y equals negative x. And we see that the reflection matrix is this matrix. 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0. Right? So when you reflect over the line y equals negative x, you use the matrix 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0. Good. And remember, you should practice to get or to figure out these various matrices because it's hard to remember them. Remember the one for y reflection over y equals x, reflection over y equals negative x, reflection over x axis, reflection over y axis. It's hard to be remembering so many matrices, right? So, if you don't get a formula sheet with these included, you should know how to quickly figure them out, right? And it's not too hard nor too long. It, it, it doesn't take a long time to figure these out, right? All right, so... That's the reflection matrix over the line y equals negative x, 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0. I'll see you in the next video.